second challenge to this video, I'm going to make a um, cheese flan. And it's very easy to make. I want to start by doing the caramel, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to use this baking dish. This is glass, but make sure if you use glass, okay, it's um, oven resistant, okay? But you can use metal, aluminum, or a disposable aluminum baking baking um, pan, okay? And I have one cup of granulated sugar for my caramel. That's what we need for my, for the caramel um, flan. The first thing is you're going to put your heat at medium high. You're going to add the sugar. This is going to take a couple of minutes, and I'm going to use a wooden spoon. And um, we're not going to put no water, no nothing. And make sure you keep an eye on this because if you burn the caramel, it's going to have a, a funny taste to the to the mix so make sure don't burn the caramel you're looking for a golden color the sugar is going to be uh, lumpy and that's normal and in here this is the color you want to see it's a golden color we're going to turn the stuff and automatically you're going to put this in a baking pan and if you're using the aluminum be careful sometimes it gets so um hot don't put your finger inside because the caramel can burn you um badly okay <clears throat> so I'm going to put my the caramel in my baking pan and then move it move it all around and we're gonna set this aside now we're gonna do the flan mix some people call them custard and this is the ingredient they are very very simple this is a one can of the evaporated milk, and if you can find evaporated milk, you can use um, one cup of the um, whole milk. One can of condensed milk, which is a sweet milk for eggs, large, and one eight ounces cream cheese. I'm using Philadelphia because I like it. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's what we need for the, um, for the flan mix. And I'm showing you, this is one cup, measurement of one cup. If you can find the, um, the um, evaporated milk, you can use whole milk, one cup, okay? And replacement of the um, evaporated milk. And we're also going to use on it a blender. So I'm going to start by adding a, one can of the evaporated milk, one can of the condensed milk, for eggs and I use the large and I here I cut the uh, cream cheese so I'm going to put them in pieces that way it's easier um, to blend now we're going to add one teaspoon of the vanilla extract and we're going to blend this make sure when you blend this um, make sure it's all well combined okay approximately one minute And we're going to, oh, I forgot to mention, you need to preheat your oven before, when you're ready to make your, the mix, make sure you preheat your oven at 350, okay? Now we're going to pour the mix into the caramel baking dish. And I have another bigger baking dish with water. It doesn't matter if it is cold or hot. It is cold, it's going to take a little bit longer because the water has to heat it up. But it is hot, and you have halfway to go. So make sure it's bigger enough. So we're going to cook, put that, we call it in Spanish, Baño de Maria, which is um, pain of Marie, something like that. So we're going to put this container, we're not going to cover the flannel, anything like that. And we're going to take both of the uh, containers and put it in the oven. And we're going to bake this for 300 and um, for one hour at 350 for one hour to one hour and a half. Sometimes it takes up to two hours. And the, and the way you know the flan is done is when you insert a knife and it's come out clean. That's when, when you know it's done. And like I say, it can be one hour to up to two hours. Okay. After one hour, you're going to check it. And you don't have to cover the uh, containers. Okay, here is my flan. My flan was like one, 
one hour and 20 minutes in the oven. I'm going to pass a butter knife around the edges. Make sure, make sure you let it cool down completely, okay? You can put it in the refrigerator or you can leave it for four to five hours on top of the counter before you turn in your flan, okay? It has to be cold, completely cold before you turn it or flip them over. Now I have a flat plate and it has to be bigger than your regular baking pan and we're gonna flip them quickly. Okay, you can leave it a few seconds. That way the caramel go down. And if you never taste it, I recommend you to do it and it tastes like cheesecake. It's very, very, very good. And here is the um, cheese flan. So this is beautiful. And you're going to keep this in the refrigerator, okay? So I hope you um, like this video. And I have another recipes of flan. I have a flan, vanilla flan also, in the English version. You can check my channel for English cooking videos. So don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe to my ch channel if you haven't. And I'm going to cut a piece. That way you can see. And if you want, you can share also my recipes. So here is the final result of my cheese flan. I'm going to cut another piece for my son-in-law. So thank you for watching. On to the next video. Bye-bye.